Look at the price of gas now. It's 755 a gallon. Hey, Putin, we're sending you a bill. Make no mistake, inflation is largely the fall of Putin. So I'm sick of this stuff. We have to talk about it because the American people think the reason for inflation is government spending more money. Simply not true. Although if you look at the numbers, uh, inflation really started to rise almost exactly when, when, when Biden came in the White House. Now and, of course, this inflation news is going to be tough for the administration. Nothing, Joe, nothing has been more politicized than inflation. Just let's harken back to all the things we've been through. First, it was transitory. Then, inflation is good. Then we went to corporate greed. Now we're at Putin. Look at the price of gas now. It's seven fifty-five a gallon. Hey, Putin. We're sending you a bill. This was already a problem before uh, the whole war and stuff. I know, you know, Biden is playing a part. It's a 50-50 thing. To me, you know, whoever's in charge is the one to blame. That's what I'm pointing the finger at. Well, I mean, look at it as a whole. I mean, where were we two years ago? Now look where we are now. What happened in the last two years that changed? Everything's gone up an uh, absurd amount, and it's all policy, I feel like, from new administration. Inflation this month was an increase in gas and energy prices as markets reacted to Putin's aggressive actions. CNN Global Economic Analyst Rana Fruhar joins us now. Rana, great to have you here. Okay, so as you probably know, many politicians act as though it's President Biden who caused inflation <laughs> and that he can fix this. Can he do something about it? Well, he can do things at the margins. You know, he can release some of the strategic petroleum reserves, which he's already called for. Um, you know, he can probably um, try and get bipartisan agreement for more drilling. That's that's something that's on the table. But no, I mean, you know, <laughs> he did not cause the war, which caused prices to surge. Now, inflation was already rising for sure. Having this discussion, it's important to dispel some of those who say, well, it's the government spending. No, it isn't. The government spending is doing the exact reverse, reducing the national debt. It is not inflationary. Oh, my gosh. Look at the price of gas now. It's seven fifty-five a gallon. Hey, Putin, we're sending you a bill. This is a grave problem. The president was wrong to blame uh, this month's number on Ukraine. Everybody had been expecting from the time before Putin uh, launched the invasion that inflation was going to accelerate uh, from uh, January to February. When you dig into these numbers, you can see just why so many Americans are so sour on the economy uh, on those opinion polls. It's because they're paying more for just about everything. Used cars, look at that, Brianna, up 41 percent from last year. Gasoline up 38 percent. And again, these numbers don't capture the big disruption in the economy um, from Putin's war in Ukraine. Thank you, Jen. We just heard you say again that you think inflation is going to be temporary. We've heard you say that it was going to be temporary since last spring. So how long do you guys think temporary is? Well, again, Peter, I think what we do is we rely on the assessments of the Federal Reserve and of outside economic analysts who give an assessment of how long it will last. The expectations and their assessment at this point continues to be that it will moderate by the end of the year. There's also no question that when a foreign dictator invades a foreign country and when that foreign dictator is the head of a country that is the third largest supplier of oil in the, in the world, that that is going to have an impact. And it is. And so to that point, inflation goes up today. The president's statement blames the Putin price hike. Are you guys just going to start blaming Putin for everything? until the midterms? Well, we've seen the price of gas go up at least 75 cents since President Putin lined up troops on the border of Ukraine. And, and last month, the statement didn't mention the Putin price hike. It mentioned inflation because of the pandemic. Make no mistake, inflation is largely the fault of Putin. Look at the price of gas now. It's seven fifty-five a gallon. Hey, Putin, we're sending you a bill.